Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to change the mode on a Casio scientific calculator. This will be a super duper easy peasy tutorial. Let's get right into the video. It'll also be a full tutorial because I'll be going over both options for changing the mode. Let's get right into the video. This is the specific model of Casio scientific calculator that I am using. If yours is different, you're probably gonna have to maybe change the instructions ever so slightly, but it's probably gonna be very, very similar so you can still pay attention. And if you have this specific model, then the instructions are obviously going to be exactly the same that's the model number right there and it's second edition just to be clear okay so let's get right into the video you're going to look for a button that says mode okay when you find that button that says mode you're going to press that button this is only the first way there is another way okay so i pressed mode and we have three options Number one is comp, number two is stat, number three is table, okay? You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna choose the option that you want. So let's say I wanted a statistic over here, a statistical calculation, I'll push number two, and it gives me all these options. Now I can um, push, let's say, uh, seven, let's say I want option number seven, and then I could go ahead and I can input my values for the X column and the Y column, very, very simple. If I wanted a different mode, I could push mode over here. Let's say I wanted to make a table, I would push three, and I could then make a table. I could put in the values. Let's say this is gonna be eight, okay? Let's say this is gonna be uh, five. Let's say, sure, no problem, start at seven. Sure, anyways, the point is uh, we can just, it's not gonna work out. I'm not putting in a correct values here. So, oh, it did work, Never mind. You know what? <laughs> what are the chances that it actually worked? I didn't think it would actually work, but anyways, you can choose the mode like that. I'm gonna go back to uh, just regular computation mode, which is number one, which is like your main mode. If you wanna do something like um, 11 divided by five, it's gonna give you uh, the answer right over there, 2.2. I have it set in decimal format just so it's clear. You can also go back to standard format like that. Very simple, okay, as you can see. Very, very easy to do. But that's how you change the mode in its most simplistic way, okay? Now, if you wanna change the mode in the more advanced way, this is maybe what you're looking for. You're then, and you're then gonna look for other options in the setup menu. So to get the setup on this calculator, I need to push shift and then mode and it brings me to the setup menu. Now you're likely going to be looking for one of these options right here. The modes that you might consider needing um, are six, which is fix on this one. Okay, seven is psi and eight is norm. It kind of all depends on what you're doing, but those are usually the modes that you can consider looking at. There's also degree and rad, obviously, but you know, um, it's really depends on what you're doing in math, but most of the time it's gonna be fix, psi, or norm that you're looking for. And if you're looking for just a basic mode, once again, let's get out of this option, then you're gonna go with these ones right here, um, which is computation, statistics, and table as far as I know. Uh, and that's it, you just choose the number. So if I wanted stat, I would push two, and it brings me to the stat, and then you choose the number, like number eight. And then you can input your values here. Very, very, very simple. Really easy to change the mode on a Casio scientific calculator. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.